You know that we love to do here literature outside of Scripture uh, that is helpful for the understanding of Scripture. That's whether it's Dead Sea Scrolls or it's something from the uh, intertestamental Apocrypha Pseudepigrapha or from the works of the rabbis or Josephus, Philo, etc. At this point we're looking at uh, from the um, late 300s AD uh, and the works of St. John Cassian, who is an immediate spiritual descendant of the Apostle John. It was kind of an, a succession, teacher to student, teacher to student in early Christianity, m in a similar way that we, find, that we found in rabbinic literature and the rabbi to disciple relationship. And so St. John Cassian tells these stories about John, the original John the Apostle, one of the three closest to Jesus. And this is what we hear the Apostle John saying, just a little vignette from his life that wasn't recorded, didn't get recorded in Scripture. It's told that the most blessed evangelist John, when he was quietly stroking a partridge with his hand, suddenly saw one in the uh, clothing uh, of, a, of a hunter coming to him. He wondered uh, that a man of such reputation and fame should lower himself to such a mundane and, and humble amusement as stroking a partridge. So the hunter said to St. John, Are you that John whose imminent and widespread fame has enticed me with great desire to know you? Why then have you taken up with such useless amusements? Stroking a partridge. The blessed John said to him, What are you carrying in your hand? A bow, said the hunter. And why, John asked, why don't you carry it around always stretched tight? The hunter responded, I must not, because if it's constantly bent, then its strength would be lost and it would grow weak and useless. And then, when I need to shoot arrows with much strength at some animal, its strength would have been spent due to constant tension, and it would not have the strength needed to accomplish its purpose. John says, in the same way, don't let this small brief relaxation of my mind offend you, young man, because unless it sometimes eases and relaxes by some manner of release the force of its tension, it will grow slack like the hunter's bow. It, my mind will grow slack through unceasing labor and will not be able to obey the guidance or the power of the Spirit." Boy, what a beautiful illustration. What a beautiful analogy that uh, has been preserved by St. John Cassian, reflecting back on the life of this um, uh, aged apostle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our videos. If you're benefiting from the content that you're receiving from them, please make sure that you're following us on Facebook and that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a thing. While you're at it, share our content with your friends and family. Encourage them to follow us as well. Thanks for helping us to reach as many as we can with a powerful message of God's Word in its original context.